Hi, George here. And today we'll be talking about how you can change the color of anything in an image. It's fairly straightforward, but it does require a bit of setup for this. On this particular image, we have a blue jacket and a blue wall right here. So I can't use my standard trick over here, which is enhance and adjust color and then replace color. That won't work because of the two blues side to side. So we'll have to do this the hard way, or at least the old way, which is to make a careful selection around the part that we want to change the color on and then use the hue saturation control for that color change. Fairly straightforward, let's go ahead and get to this. First thing I'll do is just to delete all of these layers in here, just get rid of all that stuff, there we go. It leaves just the background. If you wanna work along with this with the same photo, let's go over to Pixabay and I'll show you where you can download this. Let me bring that site up. In this right here, I'll put this link in the description. Just click on download, and the one that I used is the 1920 by 1280. Just download that to your computer, open it in Photoshop Elements, and we're all set to go. Okay, so here we go. Now the first thing we need, as I mentioned, is a nice careful selection. Now I'm making the selection, we'll be getting a new layer as I do this, but even so, I still always like to just be in the habit of making a duplicate layer over here. Choose okay. Even though I don't actually need this on this particular project, having this as a habit is a good habit to be in, so you don't forget to do this when it is important. Okay, let's now just zoom in. Now notice I'm zooming in here, I'm using the wheel on my mouse. If your mouse has a wheel, this is a real nice tip. Go up to edit, come down to preferences, general, and it's right here, zoom with scroll wheel. And you can just zoom in and out that easy. It just saves you a few steps. Now we need to have a good selection on this. Notice that we have a lot of other stuff. We have this button in here, we have this patch up here. Here is the shoulder strap for this backpack. I hold the space bar down, we can move this. We also have some keys showing in here. It's a bit of a soft edge right there with this key fob thing and her hand in her pocket. So all of those things will have to be masked out as well. So I'm gonna start off by going to our mask tools. Let's just grab the quick selection tool. That's a 20 pixel size, it's pretty good. And with this tool, just click in and begin moving around and move into the areas that you want to select. And Photoshop Elements is pretty good at making that selection for you. It's not perfect. It may get some things that you don't want selected. Like I just grabbed that shoulder strap, so that's gonna be a problem, I have to fix that later. Okay, space bar is checked down here below. Okay, right down here a little bit, that bit right down here, and then over in here. And it just grabbed part of the backpack here, and it also grabbed part of her pants right down there. So I had a few things to fix. That's our first step, is just to get that first basic selection. Now we'll go back in and we'll clean the selection up. First thing I'll do is look at the edges, and these all look just fine out here. A little off right down in here. So let's zoom in tighter on this. Now when you make a selection, you can actually change selection tools. So we'll switch over here to the polygonal lasso tool. My feathering set at zero, I want to add. There we go. And let's just add this bit right here. I'll start on that line, and I can then come in and draw right around that bit. And back around, double click to close that out. And I want to get rid of this little bit right here, and I want to get rid of all this stuff over here. So I'll switch over here to subtract. You can start on the line and then just come in and find your edges that you want. Go outside, double click, that takes care of that one. Let's get this bottom piece right down in here. Now when you're using the polygonal lasso tool, don't click too quickly or it's going to collapse the selection you have to start over again. So just give it a beat between each point that you make in here and it should be okay. Now we'll be using the refined edge on that little bit. So I'll just come over here and out and around. Somewhere near the Beginning, double click, that fixes that. Space bar again. And at this point, I'll pause the video and finish all the cleanup of this selection. As soon as that's done, I'll bring the video right back up again. There is our selection all set to go. I wanna come down here and get that little bit, space bar, right here, where this free thing is overlapping the jacket just a little bit. Let's do the refined edge. My brush is a bit too large. And that's right, I'm gonna bring it down to about 20. Just back up like that, maybe 15, that's pretty good. And just right along here where that fur is overlapping, that's all you need, just that little bit right there. It's a bit too much in here. Let's go to the Erase tool, and let me just tap on those, and that fixes that. Let's add changes to a new layer with layer mask. Choose OK, and there's our layer mask. And then I'll just zoom back out, and there's a jacket all by itself on its own layer, and now we can easily do our color changes. Okay, let's now show our background copy again. And there we go. 
Now changing the color is the easy part. Go up here to the layer menu, come down to new adjustment layer and choose hue saturation. For Susie's previous layer, check that checkbox, choose OK. And now let's have some fun with this. You can choose either to colorize or not right here. And if you colorize, it makes it everything monochromatic. And when I do this, I spot a problem right here. Here's a bit of that blue jacket showing. So let's fix that. We can do that easily enough. Let's close that down. Let's zoom in on that bit. And go over here to the layer mask. Black hides white shows. I want to paint white on this. Go to the paintbrush. We have a pretty small brush size right now. That's okay. Seven looks pretty good. It's a soft edge brush, but it's a small one. And this just paint right in here with the white on the layer mask. And that's then going to add that bit into our image adjustment area. There we go. Also, if you have any little edges like this that may have a problem, you can go ahead and just paint all along those edges. Same thing. You may need to paint white inside or black outside, depending upon the edge. But that should clean any of those edges up for you. Okay, zoom back out again. I don't see any more problems in here. If you want to bring back the adjustment, just double click. Brings it right back up. Just click on that icon right there. Brings it right back up again. So two ways. One is with colorize, it's monochromatic, and sometimes this works out just fine. It depends upon what it is that you're doing or just color. You find that on colorize, the range here is not quite as much. Without that, the range is actually a lot wider. You'll see there. Now, if you want to get one of these things back to zero again, let's say I just made some adjustments like that. I'm not happy with it. Double click on the names right there and it re-zeroes everything, or you can just type in zero, but double-clicking on the name is faster. Let's now do a hue change. Let's find kind of a nice warm tone over here, maybe a bit less saturation, like that. Darken it down a touch. And at this point, it's just a balancing act between these controls to get just the color that you want. You can get almost any color in here. And I think that looks pretty good. So there's kind of a nice yellowy color. I think that one's good. And if you want to save this and then try some more, make sure you're on your top layer up here. Hold the Shift, Control, Alt keys down and then tap the E key. And that merges all of this up onto this new layer here. Then just hide that layer. Get back down here, double click on this. Let's try something on the opposite end. We'll go over here to the right hand side, kind of a nice purple. There we go. Maybe a little more saturation, a little darker. And that's kind of nice. There's a nice color change. We'll keep that one. Same thing. Shift, Control, Alt, tap the E key, and we get a copy of that layer. All right. Now, let's say you wanted to have this in black. You can do that as well. Just double click. If you bring your saturation down, it removes all the color out of that image. So it's now just a mid-tone gray. Then take this lightness control and push it towards the left, and you get into a nice black. Now, don't go too far or it begins to block up like that. So you have to have some dark gray in there. Now, when you're doing a black like this, you may want to come in and increase the contrast on that. Let's go ahead and do that. So I'll put it about here. That looks pretty good. Is that another adjustment layer? Go up to Layer, come down to New Adjustment Layer, and Levels right here. Again, use that checkbox. Choose OK. And take the left-hand side, bring this in a little bit. That will richen up the blacks. Take the right-hand side, pull this in a little ways. And then just kind of tweak the middle control here, and somewhere around in there it looks pretty good. So there's a nice black, so pretty easy to do black. Let's say you wanted to have white. Double click on that hue saturation layer again. Take the lightness control over to the right hand side. Don't go clear to the top of where it does that. You want to have some detail left in here. But take it up around here someplace, and there is your white jacket. So pretty easy to go black or white or any color that you want, just like that. Now, if you have my photo coach for Photoshop Elements, you can get a list of the steps for this project. Just go over there and do a search for Change Color 2024. That's what I'm naming this one. If you just do Change Color, there are other ways of changing color. You can find that all over there in the photo coach. And there are different ways that are better for different uses, different reasons. But this particular one, I've named this one Change Color 2024. And if you don't have the photo coach, I'll put a link for that in the description right down below there. I've talked about it a lot in other videos, so I'll just put the link in for this video here. Hit that like button, and if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe as well. And I'll see you next time.